Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day. I'm Jalani Ismail. Currently working as manager, principal instructor, maintenance academy, Institute Technology Petron Petronas, Terengganu, Malaysia. The title of my presentation today is Two Past Generation for Linear Cutting Using Step 5 ISO 10303 Data Structure. The co-authors of the paper are Professor T.S. Dr. Saiful Bahri Muhammad and T.S. Zamri Abdul Rahman, UST Sultan Zana Ibidin Terengganu, Malaysia and Assessor Professor T.S. Dr. Alias Muhammad, UST College Tati Terengganu, Malaysia. Some information about Institute Technology Petron Petronas Instep. Instep started as a humble beginning 40 years ago in 1981 and, and, and has grown tremendously into an internationally recognized training center in Batu Rakit, Terengganu, Malaysia, producing more than 130,000 job-ready technician workforces servicing in more than 30 Petronas and non-Petronas plant and more than 100 platforms around the world, which with numerous international accreditation and serving clients from more than 35 countries, our proven track record empowers people capabilities through delivery of customized niche programs anchored on world-class facilities and industry experience and qualified instructors. The presentation outline today as follows. I will start with the objective of the project, then about the introduction of this project. Next, I will cover the research methodology conducted in order to achieve the above objective. The result will be tabulated and discussed in detail in my presentation. Next, come some conclusion will be drawn out. At the end of my presentation, I will wrap up some recommendation and provide suggestion for future work. The objective of my presentation today is to develop the integrated interface system of two path generation for linear CAT using step five. A computer numerical control CNC machine is a computer numerical control device automated to perform a complex material task. CNC machine works based on specific programming language known as G code. The process begins with the design stage using computer added design, CAD software, and post processing stage using computer added manufacturing CAM software to generate the G code CAD CAM CNC. CNC machine requires G code to perform machining. Currently, there are two methods of generate to generate G code. The generated two paths can be obtained from experienced machinists or can be generated from add-on application or standalone CAM software. Each of method has disadvantages of human errors or high cost of capital investment. The need for effective and low cost application that can overcome the limitation seem necessary. An interface for neutral data exchange is needed to integrate the CAD CAM at the lowest possible cost as well as avoiding human error at minimum level. The research methodology step applied in this project, there are five altogether. Number one, understand the step five structure. Number two, determine relevant linear feature. Number three, construct workflow diagram. Number four, develop the integrated interface system. And number five, G-code validation, wire simulation, and physical machining. Prior getting the step five data, need to draw the product into CAD. So draw the product in the solid work, save in the native file, can be obtained and saved in natural file. Step five is one of the natural file. There are some steps are needed to follow in generating G code before do the machining process. Start from three-dimensional 3D CAD drawing to form a 3D shape of square by using SolidWorks CAD software. This slide shows the solid model of 3D CAD drawing. After three-dimensional 3D drawing is completed, 
the cat file is saved into stat file AP214, which is neutral file for the exchange of the product data model data that consists of geometrical data to generate G code. In generating the G code, in generating the G code, the data from the step file is extracted using algorithm of geometric data extraction, GDE, before transfer the data needed into a programming interface to ensure that the G code is correct and no error occurred. The coding is used in machining to validate the G code is correct and the information extracted from step file can be used and function for missioning. Data step in data in in uh, data step file data consists of executable and work plan, technological description and geometrical geometry description. The keyword data is marked on the second section of the program data file. It is the main section and known as a data section contain all the information regarding the part geometries and manufacturing task is shown here, which divided into three major parts, which are executable and work plan, technological description, and geometry description. So here you can say that the data, the, de the data uh, in the step file consists of executable, of work plan, technological and geometry, uh, and geometry description. So this slide show the extraction from the step file. There are there are some steps needed to follow in generating G code before do the machining process. This slide show how to do data extraction from data file, start from 3D dimensional 3D cat drawing to form a 3D shape of square using SOLIDWORKS CAD software. This slide shows the model, the solid model of 3D cat drawing after three dimensional cat drawing is completed, the CAT file is saved into STAT file AP214, which is a natural file for the exchange of product data model, data that consists of ge geometrical data to generate G code. In generating G code, the data from the STAT file is extracted yeah, using algorithm of the geometric data extraction before transfer the data needed into programming interface to ensure the G code is correct and no order occurred. So this is the process of duplicate duplicate value and actual data is gathered. The process of extract the geometric data from the step file step by step involve that involve read, extract, and elimination process before proceed to another step as shown in this slide. First, the reading process of step five, which the data in the step five have all information about the drawing, including geometric data. The Cartesian point is extract from the step five. From the extracted Cartesian point, the negative value of Z is eliminated. However, there are some duplication of data that must be eliminated before the actual data is extracted. The actual data is gathered with divided into two parts with our outer feature border and inner feature border. The, the outer feature border is selected because the drawing is drawn offset. The last figure in this slide shows that the starting point of drawing from point B to point F until end of the point, which is point B. This tell about the integrated system ISS in architecture. So in this slide, it shows that number one is about the data extraction module. As a step five, 
lines by lines to extract geometric data. Then data uh, elimination module eliminates repeat, uh, repeating and irrelevant data from the database. Next, data processing module processes the data according to the specific instruction, determine work plan, working plan, work, work piece boundary, and feature, uh, feature boundary. Next, integration module integrates user input, which are feed rate, spin the speed, and depth of cut with the geometric data. And G code generation module write G code using process data. Next, about the integrated, yeah, about the uh, integrated system, yeah, about the integrated system ISS. So we need to put there the all the parameters like clearance, right, uh, clearance, feed rate, uh, depth of cut. Then the, we need to upload the the step. Five, eh? We need to upload the stat file. Next, this about the result and discussion. Number one, we focus on simulation test performed by using the mask for PC. The simulation test is performed yeah, using the mask for PC based CNC controller in order to ensure the generated G code from the interface system, which can be used for the physical machining. The G code as shown in this slide is capable of generating the two paths, two paths based on the general necessary solid model from CAD design. The two paths developed from the movement of the tool is based on G code produced from the Cartesian coordinate from the step five. Using N milling machine, the machining process involves the milling procedure. Yeah? The shape of milling is, sim is a simple square island with a depth of 10 millimeter. The output of the simulation testing you can see in this slide, i.e. generated two paths. Next, validation process. This slide shows the validation process physical machining conducted. Yeah, there are three, uh, there, uh, the three exists, eh? three exists of CNC machine, milling machine is used to verify the G code during the simulation test for physical validation. A piece of ultra high more molecular, uh, molecular weight uh, polyethylene block with dimension of 100 mm times 100 mm times 24 mm is used eh? in machining purpose. The machining operation is performed by the three exist CNC milling machine that fully equipped with Mash 4 software, which is an open source CNC controller. So from this slide, you can see the uh, comparison of the output between the simulation and physical machining. Yeah. So from here, we can see that the interface successfully generated the intended G code according to the software, sorry, according to the workflow diagram. Number two, by comparing the result, by comparing the result from the CNC simulation and physical machining, it can be observed that they mesh in terms of the shape of the machine features. So for the conclusion, number one, you can say that the result for this research is step five can be read, can be read, which is the researcher we identify the relevant geometric data of the step five, and the researcher can extract the G code from the step five and write the G code. Number two, integrated interface system IIS successfully generated G code by extracting relevant data information from the step data file focus on the linear features only. Number three, it proves that computer algorithm created for the development of the IIS is valid and working successfully. Then, 
Number four, the simulation and physical machining were done to validate the G code contracted from the interface programming. So some recommendation and future work, the recommendation and future work for this research is to map two paths of 3D pockets or combination of linear and circular pattern by using generated interface platform. I think that's it for my presentation. Thank you for all party contributed to this particular research. Thank you for watching. See you again.